Yeah, it's Mr. Philip Foxley time. He's going to be our feature artist this week. Uh, I'm going to edit the video here for that, and it'll be up on our YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and take a listen to Philip Foxley. This is I'll Be Right There. Foxley with I'll Be Right There. So the thing about Philip Foxley, I learned in his, inter in his interview for the featured artist uh, section, is that he does a lot of collaboration. So that was really just his song. Uh, the singer's name is Enrique. And um, that was... A lot of his songs, they sound a lot different. And that's what he explained, is they're all different genres, different styles, because that's just how it comes out. And he collaborates with a lot of people. But you said you didn't get a chance to listen to this one, right? Yeah, I actually listened to a different okay. song. No, yeah, no, it, it is okay, man. It's okay. No, he. But I did jump in on the interview you did with him on Blab, and he is yeah the nicest guy in the world, man. And very uh, passionate. Very passionate. I love his voice. He's very humble. Um, and he, yeah, he's one of those guys. that's just like, yeah, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> and sometimes those guys. Have amazing yeah. music, and, and uh, yeah, it's like I, yeah, that, that's what I love just about what we're doing is uh, sometimes I feel like I've played with people in the past that kind of had that um, almost like relaxed approach to it, yet they were just amazing players or amazing, amazing writers. Yeah. And part of my part of me is like, man, it's almost like a crime not to like get this out there. And at least have more people talk about it, or at least like appreciate it in some way. Does it? Do they have to make ten billion dollars on the song? No, but it, it's it's a piece of art, and it's worthy uh, to be shared and talked about and enjoyed. And uh, he kind of reminded me of just his approach to it. Reminded me of some some people that I've played with. Yeah, like part of his thing was that he um, he took a, like a 25 year break from music yeah yeah um he like he started playing um guitar at a young age in the 70s or something like that before i was even born and he was getting studio work and all this stuff i mean he's touring and all this stuff and um he decided to do a career you know that he wanted to do which was uh, i believe it was some sort of engineering career Mm -hmm. um, and he's still doing that and loves it and stuff, but decided like only like three or four years ago to actually start writing music again. And, uh, you know, did all these, started doing all these collaborations on Twitter and stuff. And they're from all, a lot of people he works from, works with, he says, is from the state. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and in talking to him, like we, I remember asking him, it's like, what, what outlets do you use to kind of put music out there? What do you what do you share? In what manner do you share? And he said, "Yeah, I'm just kind of getting back into this and looking around." And like, I'm like, wow, I'm like, yeah, we have all these solutions. We have all these things that we've done in our careers that could help you take it to a different level too. 
at least get the feedback that it, that it seems is most important to him. Like he just he just wants to yeah. um, share it with people and, and uh, let them enjoy it, and whatever happens, great. Um, yep. Yeah. And he's going to get a lot of exposure on our website. Let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. So, and you know, if uh, anybody listening wants to get the same spo- exposure. Uh, as a featured artist, you can go to our website and check out the Submit uh, Music tab. There's many different places, you can, or not many, but a few different places you can uh, submit music. Uh, you can submit submit music for our podcast. You can submit music to be on a, a featured artist. And then you can also submit music uh, for reviews, uh, which will get you the most promotion possible.